Hello and welcome to a tutorial on focus stacking with Infuse on Linux. Focus stacking is taking a series of images with different focal points um, like you would in macro photography as you can see with this ballpoint pen. And Infuse is um, software that comes with Huggen or Hugen. So if you've installed Huggen um, on your Linux computer you will have Infused installed by default. Um, I have tried to use the Huggen GUI um, to produce the focus stacking with mixed results and mostly bad. I just can't get it to work as well um, as I can using Infuse via the terminal. So um, it's quite quick anyway, but the person we have to, well the person I have to thank for that is Pat David and his great website um, showing how to do it on Windows, how to use Infuse to focus stack and all I've done here is taken his commands and just modified them uh, ever so slightly just to use on Linux in the terminal. Um, I did search the web for any other tutorials, I couldn't find any, maybe I didn't look hard enough so I just thought I'd put this together just for anyone that was looking to um, try the same thing as I did and there, Pat David's um, Windows commands there which I've just modified slightly. So what I did is I've copied the relevant commands into a text file um, that I just save and use. There's really only two, it might look complicated there but there's just two. So the first thing you want to do is open terminal um, in the directory where your photographs are. Um, I do a directory listing of the photographs and then just copy their names so that I can paste it into the text file. Um, once I've pasted it into the text file I just copy that command and put it back into terminal and run the command. Again, uh, terminal is pointing to where the images are in the first place. If you don't know how to open Terminal and navigate to the folder where your images are um, or if you don't know how to right click and open Terminal from the folder maybe you're not running Karja or Linux Mint like I am which makes it a lot easier um, you can always just put your images in your home folder which is where your Terminal will open by default anyway. Uh, so running the command you'll get um, remapped TIFF files of your images um, which take into account any movement. Um, they also fix the focus breathing or uh, handheld shakes that you may have had or when you took the images and it just remaps them for you. So next we want to copy the fuse stack command and um, there's four of them there, four different options that Pat David have had. Um, the second one, the grayscale one, works the best for me, so um, feel free to pick whichever one you want to use, but you only need to use one. So again, you just copy the command, paste it into terminal, and um, away it will go. And it creates uh, an output file, you can see there, called base. Um, I just suffixed it with uh, option 2 so I could remember which option I'm using. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, so that runs through and we'll stack all of those out TIFFs together into one file. Once it's done you can then just open up your base image and you'll see that hopefully it's nice and crisp and sharp um, with a much greater depth of field than you had originally. Um, there looks pretty good with the uh, ballpoint pen and just comparing back with the original images on the right um, you can see they've got a lot less depth of field and just clicking through them um, you can see what it looked like originally and you can see a bit of focus breathing there I used a CCTV lens which is a bit of, uh, on the cheap side but it still has good results and just um, zooming in there to see the difference with the last picture and the first picture as well and there you go so hopefully you guys have good luck and nice crisp images I'll leave um, 
lots of notes below in the text. Thanks very much.